Hi boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Welcome to uh, a dark ATR-72 600 series aircraft here at Silver Airways and I've just gone out of view because it's very dark in here. Let's walk to the cockpit. previous video of me at a day at work at Silver, so I was flying the 42 model which has 46 seats. This aircraft is the 72 model which has 70 seats and they're all empty today which is going to mean that this thing is going to fly like a pink rocket ship. Shouldn't say pink, it's fuchsia. We're doing a part 91 repo flight. Uh, we are repositioning this aircraft down to Fort Lauderdale. We're in Tampa at the moment. We're going to reposition it down to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, clearing Sir Wings 9014, clearing to the Fort Lauderdale. Sir Wings 9014, clear to the Fort Lauderdale International Airport. Be a radar vector, Stavey, Lee County. Now it's filed. After departure, fly heading 310. Fly maintain 1600. Expect 15010. Departure frequency is 118.8. Squawk 4662. All right, clear to Fort Lauderdale, radar vector Sabi, Lee County, as filed, so on departure, heading 310 up to 1,600, one, uh, 15,000 feet, uh, one zero minutes after departure, 118.8 and 4662, so wings 9014. So wings 9014, the readback is correct, you can contact ground point 7 with Quebec when you're ready to taxi. Roger, good. After picking up the clearance, it's time to put the route into the FMS. Then, before you know it, the captain is asking to start engine two in hotel mode. Hotel mode is a feature on the ATR which allows you to start engine two on the right side without spinning the propeller. This gives power to the electrical and air conditioning systems so we can disconnect the GPU. With the relevant checklist complete, we're ready for pushback. Now, like any other airliner, the ATR is truly an aircraft that requires teamwork from the flight crew to make the flight successful. And this video will give you an insight into what it takes. With the push complete, we're cleared to spin the propeller on engine two. All right, the right side's clear. Prop rig is up. Rotation. Get engine one started. Flaps 15, anti skid test perform. Clear on the left. Engine one. And in three, two, one. Starter on. Time. And get underway to Fort Lauderdale. RTO talk check before taxi procedure complete. Put that's the checklist. FWS. Recall. More status. Prop break. It's off. Copy com match. Close. CL1 and 2. Auto. Anti icing. It's off. And it's good test. But bomb. Flaps. 15. Nose wheel steering. It's on. Before taxi check is complete. Ready for the call? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's do it. And ground so wings. Uh, 9014. Information Quebec ready taxi. Silver Wings, uh, 9014, uh, one right, taxi via Lima, Juliet, Charlie, cross 28. Lima, Juliet, Charlie, cross 28 to runway uh, 01 right, so Wings, 9014. All, All right, right, taxi check, please. Taxi check, please. On bricks, check. FGC, PFM, uh, set check. Take off the fig test. So so okay. At this point, I begin to give Captain Ben a departure briefing. All right, uh, I'll give you a briefing. Yes, uh, so. We've flown together, you know how I fly, yep. uh, but if you see something, say yeah, something. This includes, but is not limited to things like weather conditions, runway length, speeds, and anything we deem appropriate to discuss before departure. No two briefings are the same, as things can change from flight to flight, which require a solid plan to make the flight a successful one. One set of items that we always discuss on every briefing, however, are emergency action items. It's required that we follow SOP at all times, and this includes emergency procedures, on which we're trained to a high degree of proficiency during training. Cool. All right. Right airline on spoiler. Green light. Left airline on spoiler. Green light. 
Take off, appreciate. Is complete. Ghost log. Off. Flight controls. Check. Transponder TCAS. Check. Airflow. Going to 9014, 10 power, runway 1 right, cliff takeoff. Cliff takeoff 1 right, so wings 9014. Cabin crew. Is not aboard, but not vice. <laughs> Fleet <laughs> valves. On. External lights. All on. Hold for lateral left. Right. You're clear, clear on final. If you notice, the tower controller interrupted our checklist. However, that's not a problem in this aircraft, as the checklists are displayed electronically. We have paper backups, however, the ability to stop at your last checked item so we don't lose our place is a really nice feature. One right confirmed. Confirm. And now lateral left EVA. Centered. Rudder count. Uh, uh, is centered. Before takeoff check. Right. Ready? Ready. FMA check. Check. Take off. Set power. Armed. Power set. 70 knots. Yeah, flight controls. Flight controls. Tools. V1, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. I'll start. <laughs> uh, 310, please, sir. All right, there she comes. Want to go. Check. United 1625, Tim Tower, runway 1 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on 1 right, United 1625. Acceleration hot to. Climb procedure. White bug. Uh, flap 0, speed 170. Check. Tower Wings 9014, contact approach. Have a good day. Good day, 9014. See ya. Morning, departure. Tower Wings 9014, coming up at 16, 310 headed. Tower Wings 9014, Tampa departure. Radar contact, climb and maintain 3000. 3,000, 9014. Cell country 3084, scan traffic, inflation factor. Oh, yes, green 3,000, I'll After takeoff checklist, please. Landing gear, confirm up. Is up. Vector, continue the left turn to Sabi, on course. And I'll turn to 07 through 2000. 07, I'll check, I'll start. Check. Silver Wings 9014, turn left heading 270. Left 270, 9014. Legion 1799, sorry about that. Turn left, left turn heading 010 to join. 010, join Legion 1799. You're a busy Here we go. Legion 1799, 9 miles from safety, oh, DOR, Nick heading 360. You hear us say check after one of us does something. This is to verify a change and both acknowledge it and confirm it's correct. All the information we're reading during this phase is on our primary flight display. The flight mode settings via the flight guidance control panel are at the top of the PFD in what we call the flight mode annunciator or FMA. You heard me say out green and the captain who is pilot monitoring verified with check. Well, Alt green means that the altitude selected has been captured and is holding. Now my flight director is directing me to hold that altitude. Once I see it on my FMA, I call it out and the pilot monitoring verifies it with check. It's such a simple verification process, however crucial as it protects us against accidentally setting something incorrectly. Ooh, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Through 10 means that we're passing through 10,000 feet, which ends the sterile cockpit for us. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that wonder exactly what it is that pilots get up to in cruise flight. Of course, we fly the aircraft and monitor the systems to ensure they're operating as they should be, but now above 10,000 feet, we're free to have a chat, and the conversations with Ben are always good ones. Contact, Jack, uh, Center on 135.75. Uh, 3575 for HM, have a great day. And cruise. Okay, and landing with... 1444 and we got 1226 on paper. So we go. Golden. Brenda she, she told me she follows you. I was like, really? Why? Unfollow now. When you fly with someone that you can get along with, it makes your day so much better. And at Silver, I've always found that the people I fly with are all easy to get along with. You can't ask for much more than that. Now, even though we're in cruise having a nice chat, we still have work to do. It's the job of the pilot monitoring to obtain weather information at the destination airport and relay it to the pilot flying. After agreeing to an approach procedure, the pilot flying will set it up and brief the other pilot. This brief gives both pilots a clear view of the overall plan and is crucial to a successful approach. Uniform. Uni uni unicorn. Okay. Unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready when you're ready. Roger, uh, approach to one zero left up with the ILS. So the ILS plate is 11-1, effective sure. the 12th of August. 
Uh, we've got the localizer, fre Miami, localizer frequency in there, both sides, uh, 110.1096 is the final approach course. Miami, Center, good morning. Glide slope Miami, intercept is at 1800 at Nova. Uh, we'll no doubt uh, intercept it sooner than that. 3000 at Warra, Nova 18, and then down to the minimum of 210, which is set in. Uh, there's a puppy on the left side, it's serviced by a Malza. Missed approach, is climbing straight out to 800, then a left turn of 4000 uh, on radial 090. Uh, to Martz, which is confirmed to all be in the uh, in, uh, in the FMS. It'll be uh, a right turn off off one zero left over to ramp control uh, down to uh, Charlie. Yeah. Pretty, pretty sure they might be using this again to today. Oh, yeah. To arrival yeah. North uh, transition uh, Orlando guessing. altimeters three well, zero look. zero niner. Not all heroes wear capes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're saving the day is what we're doing. I like that. <laughs> Not all heroes wear capes. Yeah. Good direct, visibility, uh, good weather yeah, out it's there. Yeah, beautiful. Big, beautiful uh, this morning. The Absolutely. All right, Ben. Uh, <laughs> here's a question for you. Why are you at Silver? It's not like an, um, an interview here. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. Job. yeah, exactly. <laughs> what makes you think you're so special, <laughs> Ben? But yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, to be honest with you, Silver has just been my first 121 experience. And I just chose it for my... Like, I want to say a lifelong career. So you didn't want to kind of bounce around yeah. from different airline to airline. Yeah. yeah so How long have you been? For yeah. Traffic, I'm going on nine years, nine years now. Eight, yeah, eight to nine years. Nine years, yeah. <laughs> you must enjoy it then. I absolutely do. You know, it's a mind thing. I have its ups and downs as well, everything else, but of course. Yeah. <laughs> Good pun. It's you know the 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 camaraderie, the the family, the the need of that you know it's yeah just like I wanted to go somewhere where I'm not just a number yeah you know the person that I'm flying with knows who yeah. I am the company knows who I am people know how I fly and yeah. know my personality and we can you know hop in the United in the cockpit together and yeah literally just yeah. get along you know miles. biggest things for me is I enjoy the aircraft five, I enjoy the people Miami yeah and I'm home basically yeah, every day. There you go. You know. yeah. for, for my personal uh, yeah, situation, that's perfect. Is, uh, yeah. Right. Obviously, you've been here for nine years. Obviously, yeah. at different times, you've they've, they've done trips where you have to stay away from home. But oh, now, yeah. now you now you're based. Uh, oh, sorry, you're, you're back in base every evening. Uh, like, you, you can't beat that. No, you can't. Now I have a question for you. What made you start your YouTube feed as far as? Well, I take it you love aviation, but what yeah. made you get into, you know, videotaping and posting and? Yeah. Things? So yeah. Uh, originally, I, I want to start off by saying I never expected it to any ever make any money or ever become right. anything special. I, I just wanted to make videos. Uh, I, I I used to watch uh, other aviation YouTubers way back when. And uh, I just thought to myself, I'm quite a funny guy. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, just by that. Yeah, I, just, I just like to, you know, yeah, like to have fun. Okay, so I want to chuckle. I, I saw a, an opportunity to kind of do things the way that I thought was better. There you go. And I tell you what, though, my first videos was <laughs> horrific. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. Uh, but no, it got better over time, and, yeah, and now yeah. it's become something where somebody is telling me oh you've helped me with such and such you've helped me through my private you've helped me Good. understand this yeah. and that is the biggest reward you know um, so that that's my motivation to keep yeah. things going the life of a pilot on a day-to-day -day basis and what we do where we go how we fly for the ones who are starting you know when they see you know they see what we do they see what you produce yeah i think it kind of give them a little okay i can do this right. i think this you know it's not bad you know you yeah. you know a aviation from an outsider's standpoint is quite inaccessible it's, yes it's, you know i totally agree yeah people don't know how to begin it's yeah. intimidating uh, uh, one of my goals is to kind of make it accessible you know, make people see that you can have fun while also doing things the correct way. And that's that's exactly the the situation I was in when I started. Yeah. Like, how can I get in? Right. 
and we, at the time we didn't have this nice fancy, you know, all this updated, you know, videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Covering 9014 to send and maintain 6,000. 6,000 now, so in 9014. 6,000 set, it's out cell blue. Check. We've been cleared down to 6,000 feet and with the approach briefing complete, all that we need to do is our descent checklist before passing through 10,000 feet. All right, 310. At which point, sterile cockpit comes back into effect and we continue on with the approach checklist. Seat belts on. Landing lights on. Altimeters uh, 06. 06. FLL. Set check. And cabin altitude. Check. Push check. Let's go. And then it's off to the final approach controller who will sequence us for the approach. So wings 9014. Yeah, we're here checking in 65, 6000 Abanti uniform. Present speed to advise, so wings 9014, expect one driller. Thanks much, uh, 10 left, spread speed to advise, 9014. Wings 9014, flying 120, intercept runway 1 to left, aid is Victor. Okay, Victor, to, uh, 120 to intercept 10 left for glasses, so wings 9014. Through 1622, descend and maintain 5000. All right, heading cell uh, green, one tw uh, 120 on the heading. We got all star, low blue, glass, low blue. Uh, you want me to do it off warrior? Uh, yeah, do it off warrior. Do it off warrior? That'll work, yeah. We're fire lima jewel, fly heading 100, zero, zero, descend and maintain 5000. Out of 5100, I'm heading three, five, five, zero. Check. I got uh, man speed, 232 for current okay. speed for him. Okay. With sterile cockpit in effect, our conversations are limited to things pertaining to the flight. This is a critical phase of flight and requires ultimate concentration. Wings 9014, at least uh, 210 till the 10 mile final, clear Alice, 1 left approach. 210 to 10 and uh, clear Alice, 10 left, so wings 9014. Okay, 210 to 10. Alright, speed 210, he said uh, cleared for the, yep, for the approach. Alright, cool. Right, I'm just going to wait for a glide slope to come in. Okay. And we'll follow that down. So pretty much close to Waro. Yeah. Two nine five four. Turn left heading one three zero two thousand. Clear Alice one zero left approach. One pop echo. Just to maintain six thousand. Check. Just to maintain six thousand. One pop echo. Obviously, uh, hold off on the flaps. Yeah. The ATR, like any other aircraft, has maximum speeds for certain configurations. With the speed restriction given to us by ATC, I won't be able to configure, in other words, extend flaps and landing gear until we pass the point that ATC requested. Yeah, it's right, turn five. Zero, five Glide slope star. Check. Glass low green, check. Mr. Broach altitude set, 4,000, thank you sir. You're welcome. So it was 3921, maintain 5,000 for established state, ILS 10 left approach. 5,000 until established state, ILS 10 left, ILS 3921. I'm calling that 10. Okay. Slow it down. Miami approach, Delta 1272 is checking in at a 9.8, this is the via the CUDA 2. Uh, also have, speed, uh, speed, uh, speed 170. I got this guy over here on the right side, yeah, check. We saw our jet blue again. It's surrounded. Right. Flaps 15, turn left heading 180 speed and speed 170. Left turn 180, speed 170. Speed 140. Right, one top echo, traffic 11 o'clock, 3 miles northbound, 3,000 is the current. Right, we're looking one top echo. Wings 9014, at least 170 to 5 out, kind of gets out 119.3. Right, tower, so wings 9014 on the ILS 10 left. So wings 9014, 4 low, tower, clear to land, 1 zero left, traffic will hold in position. Okay, clear to land, 10 left, so wings 9014, copy. Get out. Okay, so check. Alright, I'm calling that 5. Let's slow it down. Flaps uh, 30 before on each other. All right, speed check, there it is. Speed 106. Check. No cabin crew. Landing gear, three green confirmed. Three greens. Flaps checked in. Tower 913, 10 left. 913, 4 left, tower, clear to land, 1 0 left. 4 left, check. Check. Autopilot coming off. November 1A Whiskey Tango, runway 10 left, line up away, traffic on a five mile funnels and ATR, be ready to go. 
All right, one of the tango line up and wait, 10 left. Civil 913, thank you. Change to runway 10 right, runway 10 right, clear to land. 10 right, clear to land, Civil uh, 913. Civil 954, uh, right turn, right turn on Bravo and ground oh, point oh, four. Right turn, Bravo, ground point four, good agent, Civil 954. Good morning, tower, southwest 3921, ILS 10 left. Civil 913, you can change the tower frequency 20.2, 120.2, you're still clear to land 10 right. 20.2 clear land, uh, 10 right to 913. Yeah, squeeze him right and be in the back of us. Right. And with then Southwest in the back too. Southwest 3921, 10 left. Southwest 3921, 4 left tower, runway 10 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 10 left. Good morning. Southwest 3921. I think he's on the road. Let's see, where's he at? Ah, uh, yeah, it's, uh, he's on the roll. Okay. What is that, little, little Skyhawk? Yeah. Yeah. Got bird up that side, left side, high, check. And tower 9014, clear line, 10 left. So we 9014, affirmative, clear line, 10 left. Clear line, 10 left, 9014. All right, set your dump off. Get up as disengage, check. Uh, runway in sight, landing. Whiskey Tango, contact Miami Departure. Miami Departure, 1 Whiskey Tango. 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Lauderdale Tower, Pilatus 361, Papa Echoes with you on the ILS. Uh, good, this is yeah, good. Yeah, good. Okay. Two Lopez, check one by Sterling, my yoke. Uh, tower number two, following us. Sirways 9014, right turn, join Bravo, ramp control. Right turn on the Bravo, over the ramp, so wings, uh, 9014, thanks. Southwest 3924. Uh, yes, sir. Clear left, all right. Clear on the right. And ramp, so wings, uh, 9014, clear on uh, Bravo to a Charlie 8. Cover 9014. Tango Bravo, Tango 2 to Charlie 8. Bravo, Tango 2, Charlie 8, still wings. 9014, thanks. Alright, radar, stop by, flight controls are uh, locked, flaps zero. Trip three set, on your lights off, hands the icing off, controls once you'll heat off, holding for CL1. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And hydraulic, okay. And 30 seconds. Say yeah, one view shut off. After long, check was complete. Cool. Hydraulic okay still. Is this Lou? It is. <laughs> I thought so. I watch your stuff on YouTube. A friend of mine told me about you, and I was like, oh, let me watch it. Man, I enjoy it. <laughs> That's so kind of you. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, he's texting me because he's listening to the frequency owl. <laughs> <laughs> that is so neat. That's That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. As we're about to shut down the right engine and finish up our checklist to go home, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. It's taken a lot of collaboration between myself, Captain Ben and Silver Airways to make it happen, so a massive thank you to everybody involved. And if you've never had the pleasure of flying with us at Silver, I'd like to be the first to welcome you on board a future flight with us. Visit silverairways.com to book your tickets and also follow the company's social media pages for special discounts and information. Also, follow me while you're over there. Thanks for riding with us today. It was a pleasure having you on board.